super way to get our evening session underway with a tremendous attacking women's doubles and Tina and Pearlie coming through that in two straight games. Well, next up is mixed doubles. It's an all unseeded affair. It's the European Championship bronze medalist Robin Tarbelin and Selina Peak of the Netherlands up against Usharianto and Kusuma Wati of Indonesia. Well, we know that one of these two pairs will reach a first ever World Tour tournament final. But as we look at the draw from the quarter-final stage in the mixed doubles discipline, we actually only started with six seeds, but we were down to four seeds by the quarter-final stage, two in each half, seven different nationalities, two pairs from China. Three of the four quarter-finals went to three games, and then two seeds, none in the bottom half of the draw at the semi-final stage, but four different nations, that's always nice to see in these international competitions. Shen Wei and Wan Yaxiong through to their third final as a pair, beating the European champions Mark Lamsfus and Isabel Lohau. And it's incredibly a fifth mixed doubles final in his fifth appearance for Shen Wei in tomorrow's match. But who will join the reigning world champions from China in tomorrow's mixed doubles final? Well, also worth noting that there was two pairs from Europe in the mixed doubles semi-final stage. And the last time that happened was at the German 300 earlier this year. You were there, Steen, but the last time it happened at this level of tournament, you have to go back to the 2020 Denmark Open when very, very few Asian players came to Europe because of the global pandemic. And apart from that, it's never happened in the World Tour. Two pairs from Europe in the mixed doubles semi-final. So this is a good sign as well that maybe European badminton is being more competitive. The European Championship bronze medalists, Robin Tarbelin and Selina Peak. Their first ever semi-final at a Super 750 event. Their opponents, the young Indonesians, Rehan Kusharianto and Lisa Kusumawati. My goodness, they played well in yesterday's quarter-final when they beat the European Championship silver medalist, Jikel and Del Rue. And of course, the home fans were right behind the French pair, but they didn't lose their way. They kept their focus, they kept the concentration. And the young Indonesians, I was very impressed with their maturity in that quarter-final yesterday. First meeting between okay. these two pairs. What's your choice, black or red? Red, red, black. Yeah. black. Your star? Yeah. So, Which hand? the European Championship bronze medalists have won the toss of the coin and have chosen to serve. Well, Selina Peak is a very experienced player. Her partner, Robin Tarbelin, is 28 years of age. And he and his partner, currently number 19 on the world ranking. Uh, but they have been as high as 14, just one week from the middle of November 2019. Now, I'm saying that she's very experienced. 30 years of age from Larikum in North Holland. This is her seventh French Open, and her experience has taken her to two 
Olympic quarterfinals in women's doubles 2016 and the, the last Olympics as well. Now just focusing on the mixed doubles and in the first round they beat Hemingham Pew from England. Uh, then uh, Jin Yong and Shin Siang Chan, that was two straight games as well, went to three games in the quarterfinal against the 2018 beaten finalists, the two left-handers, Suo Sung Jae and Che Yun Jung. But very convincing deciding game, 21-8. Rehan Kusharianto is at 22 years of age, and that's very interesting. They've adjusted his height to 168. Had him down at 180 yesterday. We knew that couldn't be right. But what an exciting young pair these two Indonesians are. Isuka Sumawati is also 22 years of age from Sleman in the Yogyakarta region in southern Java. They are playing off their career high of 30 at the moment. It's their fourth consecutive week. And what a series of results they've had. They beat Go and Lai of Malaysia, who were semi-finalists last week in Denmark. They beat them in two straight games. Then the Commonwealth Games gold medalists, Terry He and Jessica Tan. And then in the quarterfinal yesterday, as I was telling you, played so well against the European Championship silver medalists, Tom G. Kell and Delphine Del Rue, coming from a game down. Marcel Schmidt of Switzerland is our umpire for this one and our service judge from Austria. Well, if you weren't with us yesterday, I ought to tell you that Rehan Kusharianto is the son of the former Olympic silver medalist, Tri Kusharianto. One his Olympic silver medal in 2000, playing with Manati Timor. And he plays very much the same way, doesn't he? Very exciting, very skilled, very dynamic. He does. Extremely quick on his feet. Good touch. Well, we're just about ready for play to get underway. Ayu Kusumawati, Indonesia. And on my left, Robin Tarbelin and Selina P, the Netherlands. <laughs> Selena P to serve to Rehan Nopal Kusarchanto Laval. Play. Well, the first time One in this up. year's tournament that I've had a chance to look at Robin Tarbelin and Selena Peake close up. I've seen glimpses of them while we've been commentating on matches on other courts. But they must be in good form, Steam, because oh. two weeks ago they won the Dutch International Challenger event. So One yeah. oh. That's interesting because um, I think that playing those number of matches um, serving listening to the umpire saying 20 match point and you're holding the serve that that's valuable and, and Two, i think some one. players that doesn't win too many matches on um, world tour level they should if they have a chance um, a couple of weeks play a little bit lower ranked tournament to um, gain touch and self-confidence that's fascinating you saying that. Three, one. I couldn't agree more with you. You know, you, you've got to get used to, you know, winning. And the, the pressures have been match points up and, you know, getting over that final line and, and believing that you can win match after match after match through the, out, the entirety of the tournament. It's contagious. Winning is yeah. contagious. One. What a super shot. 
Selena Peak. Oh, that's a beauty. And there's a little deception on the shot. That uh, is over. bites Two. on uh, Robin Tarbling. The next one here. Yeah. Look just like a straight. It's a little wiggle of the racket head. Not too much, then it becomes overdone. Oh. No left. Three, four. What elevation on that jump smash, too, from Pusharianto. Four, all. Oh, my goodness, me. the court in the dive and actually Shot finished off the rally Five. played the winner oh. extraordinary shot from the back of the court though Nice. Oy. Oh, that's a big miss. Six. Oh. They're taken with a smile. And I think that's important because you've got to show up again in the next rally. Try and do exactly the same if the chance occur. saying that it's the first ever semi-final for this Dutch combination at this level of tournament. Of course, it's the first ever semi-final as well for the Indonesians yeah. at a 750 event. Oh. Missed it. Oh. Time is over. Seven. Oh. She was really good yesterday, Kusumawati, in adjusting which areas she overcovered, um, moving her forward to cover total top of the tape. I think um, changed the match yesterday. And, um, ah! Then when they got confidence, she also uh, sensed that they were trying to play a little bit past her, the uh, French pair they beat yesterday, Nine, and she seven. moved backwards in the attacking situations. So, uh, I think she's very, very valuable. You mentioned it as well, that she took control of the net yesterday, and, um, and I think that's what the, um, the Dutch pair needs to be aware of. 
Let's push long. And we're playing clearly Pen. faster shuttles right now than the uh, at least the previous on the first three days of this tournament. Much, much faster. Time is over. Eight, ten. So it is the Indonesians who have the advantage, a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the opening game. Nova Widianto imparting his advice to the Indonesians. Uh, Nova was a winner of the French Open in 2009 with Liliana Nasir. 11, 8. Play. That's oh! uh, a cheap point for the Indonesians. 12, 8. Time is over. Thirteen nine. Henry Vervoort, the Dutch coach. Oh, it's just long. Time is over. 10, 13. Oh, got the neck cord. Uh, virtually Eleven, impossible for Kusuma Wati to deal with that. Again, good coverage by uh, filling a peak at the net. Well, getting it below the tape. Initially. That is over. 14, 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wide. that's wide. Well wide. He looks a little nervous to me. Robin Tarbalin. Yeah. It's also. 15, um, well. Intimidating is perhaps a, a big word, but it's challenging to play um, a pair that's so quick on their feet, as is the case with the, the Indonesians. Long. 
service over. 13, 15. So Shakira and Del Rio yesterday important for the Dutch to sort of keep control over the rallies, not get into these um, fast-paced exchanges because I'm certain that um, Shayanto and Kusumawati will have the upper hand in the long run in those. Blanc again. Yeah. He can hold the shot for just that fraction longer. Yes. And, it, and it, it, they don't know what to do. The Dutch pair don't know what to do. Who's going for what? Because they simply can't read it. Such good play, such good skills from Kushi Arianto. I think good effort. Well, this is a situation where you could easily get a little bit tense if you're the uh, pair in front here. Trying to reach your first ever Super 750 final. Seems like a good lead, 17 14. 14 17. It's actually not that much. Oh, what a return of serve. What delightful skills. I like that she's stepping 14. into it, trying yes. to reach it as quick as possible, as high as possible. That's lovely. Time is over. 15 18. Hasn't worked as well the tumble serve for her yet today as it did yesterday. This is Mawati. Yeah. Nice drop. That's a lovely, lovely defensive shot from Selena Peak. Stepped into it and moved forward. Take a look at this. Look, she's already at the net by the time the shuttle's getting towards the Indonesians. Yeah, and the, the attack to the inner side of uh, Selena Peak there. Either he should have followed through Kushayanto or I should have um, come with that one because that was actually the most logical place to play it. Oh! In terms of what you can do when you're put under pressure 19, on uh, the left hip. That became very technical, didn't it? A little. <laughs> <laughs> I think I followed you. Power smash with good placement. A lethal combination. 17, 19. Game point opportunities. Time is over. 20 game point. The young Indonesians. 17. And the opening game to the Indonesian youngsters, Rehan Kushiarianto and Lisa Kusumawati. 
21-17. Umpire just confirming 21-17 opening game. What a great start. 16 minutes for game number one. Apalagi di sini ya, dia manjak bisa out. Kamu fokus kiri kanannya aja. Kan, kamu ngincernya harus tahu. Dia posisi begini, dia udah jagain sini. Kamu tembak sininya. Ya, di sini agak kalah angin dikit tuh. Sama apa, kalau dibongkar, jangan sampai. Kalau bisa turunin. Dia ambil aja dari jemaisan doang tuh. Ya, sama apa, flashing kirinya, variasi. Kalau misalnya flashing ke cowoknya aja, nggak apa-apa. Kalau nggak dilariin ke ceweknya. Dia lurus-lurus aja dijagain tuh. Ya, fokus terima servisnya. Yang penting masuk dulu, jaga bola kedua. Di sini dia bisa out tuh belakang. Pangkatnya? Ya, ini agak angin dikit di sana. Ya, tadi berapa kali kamu otowan? Ya, fokusnya tuh yakin satu sekali, dua kali mati. Ngomong atau di dulu. Ya, ya, tahan poin terus. Ya, ya. ya pokoknya mau terpis, ngomong ke pangkatnya. We moeten die stap naar voren durven te zetten. Uh, zij gaat op net heel vaak op waar je met je hand heen gaat. Dus zodra je een beetje zo deed, had je haar gelijk de pak in het voorveld. En blijf Zo, Zij is gewoon de helft zo goed als in beweging wordt gezet. Ja, dus en je moet ook meer Anders moet jij gewoon je positie in het midden aanpassen. Dat je niet te veel opstapt naar je backhand, zodat je hem voorhand kan pakken en mee kan nemen. Ja, en dat, dat is niet echt gebeurd. In onze eigen service situatie. Zet haar maar een paar keer meer weg. Gewoon een paar keer meer flikken ja. naar voorhand. Nou, hè, gewoon naar buiten, dan komt de ruimte op de baan. Oké, okay. blijf gewoon flikken uitvoeren. Let's go, hè. 20 seconds. Second game. Love all. Play. Well, a very impressive opening game by the Indonesian youngsters. Time is over. One. Stop. Well, my Dutch is very, very limited. But I think from the hand gestures, the Dutch coach was urging his players to sort of take a pace off a little bit. I think that would seem to be the case in the, the, this early rally. Oh! Yeah, that will also be my um, initial Time thought. Well, dude, what's your One. Dutch? Oh. Odd language. <laughs> 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 Just like Danish. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, get the pace off, but it, it's difficult because he's... Uh, all over the place. Um, Kushayanto. Oh, that's a pity. Yeah. Oh, we won't win that challenge. Robbing, hobbling, challenges, pull out. Uh, you've got good sight of that line. Pretty good sight, haven't you, Steen? Maybe in emotional challenge. I thought it looked wide. If, if he wins that challenge, I'll take off my glasses because then they're no use. <laughs> no, you were right. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Two, one. Play. Oh, you oh. control. Isn't that fabulous? Three, one. I think actually when um, Kushayanto is serving, I'm trying to go for the um, long return outside, uh, as far as I could outside his reach. That one. Yeah. So get him to move when he's uh, serving himself. Two, Once in a while, of three. course, you need to sort of drag him forward to those uh, mid-court areas, but um, it's it's difficult to serve and, and cover as much as he's doing. Play. Incredible defense from the Indonesians. And the severe pressure. And the Dutch pair just have to smile at each other after that rally. Yeah, but I, I think one of the plans they must have is to go for uh, uh, Lisa Kusumawati in um, in the attack. But then Selina Picci um, followed up by playing uh, Kusayanto, and that's wrong. 
Five, and that's another two. great control with the push to the back of the court from the Indonesians. Look at that. Yeah. Super. I think that's a shot that many don't practice because they practice the kill or the block. And they forget to practice the uh, flat one. Oh. Good quality. Time is over. Three, five. Well, definitely feels toppling and peak take the pace off and perhaps keep it uh, as much as I could in, in one side until we get oh. a big chance. Time is over. She cannot swing for that one. So Six, the peak. Three. That's one of the shots. That even if you, she gets it, you lose control of the rally uh, with that. Yeah. So she should leave it to go through to L her leave partner. Leave it to uh, Tabling, who's got the option of uh, playing downwards or blocking. There was good play. Good play. Time is over. Four, six. That looked like nerves to me. Service over, seven. He knows four. this is a big, big opportunity. Yeah. Semi final of a 750 event. These opportunities to get through to finals don't come that often. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd challenge that. My reaction was it was good, but the nine judge indicated that it was long. Yeah, clearly in. It's a shocking call. Uh, it's one of the difficult calls to make because it sort of slides over the back line. Yeah. But I agree, this is this is a good opportunity probably for both Eight, pairs and four. leads back to this Play. question about when the draw should be made because we lost both the second and the fourth seats prior to the tournament in uh, yeah. this lower half here. Nine, four. All done three weeks before, and uh... I agree. I, I struggle to understand what gain there is from doing the, the draw early. Yeah, why not wait and do the seeds as well when you see who's turning up? Yeah, good coverage. <laughs> it's now or never for yeah. peak and tabling because um, otherwise, I think. Kusayanto and Kusumawati gets even more confident. And um, we saw yesterday how well they play when that's the case. There's too much power. Too much power in the shot from uh, Tabling. And we're in uh, Kusayanto land in terms of how they want the rallies to uh, play. Yeah, look at that skill, look at the disguise. Robin. Just lovely. Oh, we shouldn't have played that one. To oh! so the mid game interval five, with a interval. six point advantage. Ushariyanto and Kasuma Wati. Crikey, that was way long. Yeah, it was. Look how early he takes it. A lot of um, similarities to Guavara uh, Nucro, Dechapan Guavara Nucro, it's a backcourt yeah. player. Yeah. Indeed, good point. Yeah. Oh, 
11-5. So a six-point advantage. And it's now or never. You thought that a little earlier, but it really is now or never. As far as the Dutch pair are concerned, they've got to start finding solutions. Oh, look at that defence. Oh, that is simply incredible. Well, I thought they played well yesterday, well, Kusharianto wow. and Kusumawati. But I have to say, Steen, they're playing even better today. Yeah, I think peak and toppling as a sort of last resort, they have to do what the Indonesians did yesterday. They have to push Selina Peak all the way up to the top of the tape. And then Robin Toppling has got to um, have to uh, take care of the rest, see if he can do that. Well played. Yeah. because they've got to have the control over the rallies. The Indonesians are much faster. They have um, good touch. They're not making um, unforced errors. They're going to earn all their points themselves, toppling in peak, at least for a long, long period until they could, um, get back in it. Seven, well. Ah, it's a good return, isn't it? Time is over. Five, eight, and again, seven. stepping into that low serve. Stepping into it, but, but again, I think Tabling should play it if he can. If not, OK, then we're going to lose, because this is, this is going to confuse Selena Peak as what, what should I cover? And, and when you're in trouble as a pair, it, it's natural that uh, the female player wants to try and cover more, wants to try and help. Service over, 8-13. Oh. Well, there's no doubt that the pair from the Netherlands are still in there fighting there. Reaction after that point there. And again, yeah. well, well, well. And the six-point deficit has been halved. Ten, 13. Only three points in it now. It was actually a seven-point deficit at one stage, wasn't there? Was there? Five, twelve down. Oh, well, yeah. Five of the last six oh. points. Six of the last seven points. Well, Steen, you said it first. It was now or never. I just don't like this. That first she asked, and then they played two shots, and now the umpire allows her to towel down, which is obviously to break the rhythm of the opponents. I would like to see some consistency here. So, no, we, got, we got to play on. Yeah. One point in it. And you can see here, well, see, look how far she is back, Selena Peak fishing for that one. That's not where she should be. Seven of the last eight points. Too much power. Oh, that's a good play. Brilliant. And what a wonderful way to get back level. That was delightful. It wasn't only the skill to play that shot, the vision to know that's where the gap was.
Thank you. So 13 all. Yeah, that's a fantastic effort from uh, Tabling and Peak. From 5 12 down. Yeah, it's eight out of nine points. Yeah. in the same situation as uh, the Indonesians to start thinking, oh no, can we really blow this one? Yeah. 12 5 up, one game to the good. We should win, we cannot lose. And then it's self imposed pressure, isn't yes. it? Yes. Because you feel embarrassed if you're going to lose from that sort of advantage. And you lost confidence in your game. You played a number of uh, not so good shots and so on. 15, this is 15. absolutely amazing. 10 of the last 11 points. Well, yesterday in the quarter-final, Tai Su Ying won 10 straight points, which I thought was fairly extraordinary. Good coverage by Selena P. Oh! Yes. She's played two out right. Kusun Arati. Oh, they're calling for the doctor now, yeah. the Indonesians. Lisa. Or... Oh, she's got strapping on her shoulder. She actually had uh, some cold spray on her shoulder yesterday. She had. I noticed one thing that the ones having cold spray applied is very often trailing in terms of momentum when they're having cold spray applied. Yeah. Well, I think the fans here in the Kubatara Stadium uh, didn't like that. They didn't like that rhythm being broken. Rhythm hasn't been broken. Still, they march forward. 12 of 13 points. They've only scored. What was, what was the uh, score at the mid game in? So 11 5? Yeah. So they only scored the first point there. Since then, they haven't scored. No, they've scored two points, haven't they? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, this is amazing. They look down and out. And now just three points away from a third and deciding game. Good play. Two points away from the second game on a run of 13 of the last 14 points. This is extraordinary. Speechless. Fifteen of sixteen points, game point opportunities. From five twelve down to twenty thirteen up. Seven 
17 points run by the European Championship bronze medalists. Twenty-one thirteen, the second game, the response from Tarbalin and Peak. It's one game all. Ik vind het ook echt goed is, is dat alles is een beetje als af. Ja. Echt alles. Ja. We proberen het gewoon. En je ziet dat we daardoor een minder goede bal terugkrijgen. Ja. Ook die flicks. Ja, gewoon alles. Echt 50% moet ik gewoon blijven flikken, denk ik. Ja, absoluut. Als, als zij dan breed zijn, dan kun je een keer een bal naar midden toe plaatsen. Dan komen ze weer in de knieën en wordt het leesbaar met handen en wat ze gaan doen. Ja? Rustig doorgaan zo, punt voor punt spelen. Kom op, hè? Final game. Well, that was utterly astonishing. Level. 14 Play. straight points and 16 of the last 17 points of that second game won by the Dutch combination. Oh. I mean, what happens, One. Steen? I mean, do you think players, uh, you know, when opponents start catching up, do they, do they just freeze? Do they panic? What, what goes on? Uh, I think in the beginning they felt too confident this was um, going their way. And then this uh, panic stage, and this, we've got to get back in it, but we can't. This is more like it. If I were the Dutch pair, I would try and activate Kusuma because she looked oh! devastated. In the uh, interval, uh, I think she's more hurt by the uh, loss than um, Kusarianto. One, oh. First shot she plays in the rally. Clever. Oh. That's the way she hurts her shoulder. Throwing herself <laughs> like that. Clever play by Robin Tabling. Good um, eye for the game, playing it over the Indonesians. Where well, I basically like what they're trying to do, trying to inject pace in the rallies. So. Kusayanto and uh, Kusumawati. Serve. That's brilliant. Lovely, lovely defence. Four, one.
Time is over. A little surprise, Steen, that Two, after a good flick serve at the beginning of the rally, Selena Peak then went to the back of the court to play the the one from the back when her partner had played a good flick serve. Yeah. Well, this is going to be, I think, quite revealing of the character of the Indonesians, whether they, after the devastating second game, whether they can come back and pull themselves together. I think they can. No, I, I think they can, but I, I think it will reveal their character. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Service error. Time is over. Six, three. Defeated Zhang Suwei and uh, Huang Yachong. Dutch combination. Exactly. I can't remember when that was. When was that? That was All England 2020. Yeah, that's right. The lockdown, just before the lockdown tournament. Uh, there's no pace to feed off from the Indonesians. Oh, strings gone in yeah. Tarbalin's racket. <laughs> Time is over. Four, seven. I don't think Selena Pete realized in time that the racket had broken. No. Courage. Excellent service return. And then coverage on the first uh, on the fourth shot. did hurt her shoulder again there. Yeah, I think so. With the dive. Lisa, Lisa. Yeah, immediately holding her shoulder. Thank you. After that rally. Robin. Well, it's a big opportunity to get to 10 for for tabling peak. Yeah, big miss, wasn't it? Uh, sometimes it's rallies like that it changes uh, momentum. Absolutely. Five, nine. Uh, the former English national coaches just released a book on momentum and how to get the winning edges in badminton. Oh! Time is over. 
fight. They've got a six-point advantage of the change of ends here in the deciding game, the European Championship bronze medalists, Tarbalin and Peak. And I heard one of the last words that Fafort said in between the second and the third game, let's play point for point, don't get ahead of ourselves. Eleven, five, play. Nice. That is a delightful shot. Twelve, five. Well, five score line, Steen. Yeah. I recall this in the second game. It's a dangerous other way, lead. Other way around, though, of course. Oh! It's the Indonesians who led 12 5 and then pretty much capitulated. 13 5. I don't think that's fair, actually. I think they were just the Dutch pair. They've raised their game. They've raised their game. Yeah, they, okay. they've done that. and. Uh, I mean, for the Indonesians, I was thinking, what, what, would, what would I advise them to do? And one of the things is, is to flick serve, but um, they don't have the serve. That's the problem. That's going wide. Oh, I left. Because they've played so clever over. in the Six. service situation, Start at least eight. when they've been serving themselves. Um, Peek and uh, Tarpaling taking the pace off. forward not applying pace but blocking it over. this Four, one eight, well that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, i said right at the start of the match she was very experienced i mean two olympic quarterfinals in women's doubles with two different partners well, there's a wealth of experience no! there that's gone wrong 56 Marching now towards their goal. Darbalin and Peak. Time is over. Seven, fifteen. It's gone long. Yeah. There was a challenge here from the Indonesians. I don't see them winning that. No, they're not going to win that.
clearly long. So just one challenge remaining for the Indonesians. One challenge remaining. Time is over. 16, 7, play. Well, this is one of the most extraordinary turnarounds I think I've ever seen, Steen. Yeah, this is um, remarkable. She's never got knocked from um, Usumawati to the standard she had up to 12-5. Oh, right, it's gone again. It's gone long. Service over. 9 18. Oh, tumble serve time. She needs it to work. wanted the shuffle changed. Sumawati yeah. said no. Hey. This is a 12-5 situation, just a little bit more difficult. There was the tumble. No! Oh, it's gone that. wide. And two tantalizing Sorry, points over. away from the first 19, ever 10. World Tour Tournament final at any level. And this is a 750. Match point opportunities. 20 match point 10. Quiet. No, stays in. Service over. 11, 20. That's going wide as well. 12, 20. I can see the Dutch coach debating with himself when he <laughs> has to intervene. No! Oh, challenge. In. Robin Harbally challenges. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. I, I have a feeling it was absolutely perfect, that flick serve. I have a feeling it landed on the line. Here we go. It's out. They are in the final. <laughs> Amazing. A game and 5 12 down. And they come back to win. 
Selena P can hardly believe it. I can hardly believe it. 56 minutes. Well, 16 of 17 points from that. 5-12 deficit to win the second game, 21-13, is probably the most extraordinary turnaround in a match I think I've ever witnessed when there hasn't been an injury yeah. issue. I don't know what he said in the interval at 11-5 on the fourth, but if he can bottle it and sell it, he will be a very rich man. Yes! <laughs> Quite extraordinary. Uh, she's, oh she's devastated. Yeah. And I can understand it. Yeah. Played Look, such a great tournament. Look to be in a winning position, the young Indonesians. Well, do spare us all for them. But they will be back for more. I'm sure there are hugely talented young pair from Indonesia. But today, it belongs to the Dutch combination. Absolutely devastated for Sumawati. An absolute delight for the Dutch pair. Here we go. This was called out. Oh, yes, it was. Winning on the instant review. Well, that's what it feels like to reach your first ever World Tour Tournament final at any level. They haven't reached a final even at 100, let alone 300 or 500. And they choose a 750 to reach their first ever HSBC BWF World Tour final. And this is how they did it. 17, 21, 21, 13, 21, 12 in the deciding game. What a match. Welcome back to the Stade Pierre de Coubertin for semi-finals day at the Onyx French Open. My goodness me, what an afternoon it's been so far. Two terrific matches. And uh, next up, we have the reigning world and Olympic champion. Beaten finalist here 10 years ago as an 18-year-old youngster. Victor Axelsson, of course, the number one seed.